A new bell will be ringing this fall at Liberty High School. After decades of not having a victory bell for the football team, the school was able to get one. With how they landed the bell, here's First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons. It's rumored that in the 80s or 90s, the Liberty High School bell was stolen by a rival school. Some students attempted to steal the bell back, which ended in the students getting caught. The Liberty Bell story ended there. But alumni Elaine Jacobs wanted to bring the Victory Bell tradition back. I saw that they were using a bell that was in a uh, wheelbarrow. It was about, you know, yay big. And it was really not uh, what I felt like the tradition was and uh, we wanted to recapture it. After some thinking and collaboration with other alumni, Jacobs decided to go for a new bell. She created an online fundraiser to raise $4,000 for the bell. Then a bigger and cheaper bell was found. I said, hey, an update, we found a bigger bell. This, is, this bell we have now is 28 inches in diameter and uh, it's less expensive. We're like six, $700 away from our goal, come on. And then everybody just started throwing money at it and we got to 2,500 within like 24 hours. The goal is to bring back some of the pride that comes with ringing the bell after a victory, a sound that can inspire athletes and fans. And hopefully, you know, no pressure Coach Simon, but hopefully we're going to be ringing that bell pretty frequently and allow the fans and the players to be able to enjoy a victory when they do occur. Before football season starts, the bell is going to get some cosmetic changes done. The plan is to have the bell on the 50-yard line in front of the home side of the stadium. In Liberty, Shina Gibbons, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.